Hi guys, welcome to Pioneer Chat. I'm here today with Dave Guyman, uh, who is an education blogger and a sixth grade teacher. And we're going to be talking to him about a few different things, like how he uses project-based learning and uh, how Twitter is improving teaching in his classroom. So how are you doing, Dave? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on your show today. I'm excited to talk to you more yeah, about you bet. what I've been doing with my students. For sure. Yeah, so can you, can you just take us through a, you know, a typical day of you know, teaching and blogging for you? Sure. When we get to school each day, the first thing we do is we pull up our Twitter account. We uh, tweet from at Mr. Guyman's class uh, about four or five times a day to either update people on what we're doing or to send out challenges to try to connect our class with the greater world. One example of that is a 24-hour tweet that we sent out on the first day of school uh, last Monday. We sent out a tweet that said, how far can this tweet go in 24 hours? Retweet and share your location. We ended up 24 hours later having over 300 different locations all over the globe and have integrated that into our geography curriculum by pinpointing, mapping those locations on our bulletin board. Uh, so we start out our day with tweeting. Then uh, we go over some issues or some topics that we're learning about with blogs. I like to move my language arts curriculum to an embedded learning style and so we're using weebly.com to host a classroom website but my 30 students also have their own individual websites and you can go see that at Mr. Guyman's classroom.weebly.com and also visit their individual blogs as well. So with that We've been learning about how to write an engaging blog, but also how to comment constructively to support other bloggers as well. Sure. Yeah, that's really cool. And I actually, I want to, I want to ask you a little bit more, you know, about um, you know different ways you use Twitter to improve your teaching. Because I really, I really like the example you said of having the retweet and like see just how you know how amazing the network effects are of using Twitter. So, are there any other um, you know cool ways you use Twitter to improve your teaching? Of course. We also have done what uh, I call a one-sentence project. That's a project that was inspired by author Daniel Pink. And essentially what it is, is I prompted my students with, if an author were to describe your life in one sentence, what would he or she say about you? So we recorded them using my iPad in front of a green screen in class, edited that into a montage. It's about a two-minute long video. And then we tweeted that out as well. One cool thing about that is that we tweeted it to Daniel Pink, who is uh, the psychology author that inspired that project, and he actually viewed it and retweeted it to his followers as well. So the joy that my students got in actually seeing something that we did in class get to uh, uh, an author or the person who created it was really rewarding to see. It's been on YouTube for uh, since two Mondays ago, so a week and a half, and is up to almost 300 views. It's really rewarding to, for my students to see that. Wow, that's awesome. That's really cool. Um, yeah, so I, I, the last thing I wanted to ask you about was uh, you know, your project-based learning. You know, how does it replace traditional learning in your classroom, um, you know, or is it actually you know, supplementing it? I've moved away from textbook worksheet-based learning quite a bit. Uh, more towards project-based learning, and I'm fairly new to it, so I'm still trying to get the hang of it. However, what uh, we're doing is rather than completing a math assignment out of the textbook, we're taking the concepts, tying them to the Common Core State Standards, and then creating some sort of a project to where students can reteach the material but present that to a live audience. So one example that we did this week is we were learning about different number sets, integers, whole numbers, counting numbers, and so forth and we broke up into groups the groups were challenged with creating a script to creatively reteach this concept in a two-minute video and then we use some video editing devices that we have in class along with the green screen that I made uh, just for some fabric that I got at the craft store and we had a group who did a sports cast about math with statistics and they did it in front of a sports center backdrop. We had a group who did a talk show in front of the Regis and Kelly backdrop. And then we also had students who decided they didn't really want to make a video. They wanted to make a PowerPoint presentation to um, present what they understood about the math concepts we were doing. And so while I'm still learning more how to better assess that, better structure that, 
It's something that uh, project-based learning allows my students to reconstruct the, their understanding of the content within their own minds and then reteach that as well. I think that's a lot more engaging and the concepts are comprehended a lot more deeply with greater connections as a result of project-based learning. Oh, I, I certainly agree. Well, um, well, thanks again for, for coming on and where can, um, where can we find you on the internet? I am on Twitter whenever I'm not in the classroom at Dave Guymon, D-A-V-E-G-U-Y-M-O-N. And then you can also come and find me, see what I'm doing in class, read my educational blog through my classroom website at www.mrguymansclassroom.weebly.com. And Weebly is spelled W-E-E-B-L-Y. I'd love to have you come read my blog, but more importantly, read my students' blogs and help them to become better writers. And it's an awesome website because I, I checked it out. So <laughs> highly recommend you. Well, thank you very right much. Well, thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, I appreciate that. Have a good day.